So Simon Peter tells Jesus, leave me. Uh, I'm sinful. He falls to his feet and tells Jesus how sinful he is and that he should leave him. So what do you think had just happened in Peter's life for him to say that? You know, had Jesus just exposed like his sinful past and was telling everybody all of the terrible things that Peter had done? No, it was quite the opposite. Peter had just maybe experienced one of the biggest financial blessings of his life. Jesus had blessed him openly in front of his friends, in front of all these, these people. He had blessed him abundantly. But Peter had no clue what to do with it. it. It brought up all of his shame, all of his unworthiness, all of those maybe years he had spent feeling like a failure as a fisherman. And now my boats are sinking because of all the fish. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Leave me. So even though he was experiencing all these blessings in his mind, he was sinful. He didn't know what to do with it. So you may be in a situation like this where you're in a relationship and things are so good, but you don't know what to do with all that love. You may have just reached some goals, even like health goals or, you know, I think about athletes. Maybe you just had the best game of your life and now you don't know what to do. Now you feel pressure. Oh, people are looking at you as like a leader and you don't know what to do with all that. And so you just want to push it away and maybe even return back to some negative behaviors. But there's two things that you can do. Get our mindset right now. If you feel in your heart that God is calling you to something, he's put a dream in your heart, and you just think about it, and you know it's going to happen, and your faith is growing, then we have to give thanks for it now. God, thank you for the fish that I know you're going to bring my way. I know you've made me a fisherman for a reason. I know my boats are going to be filled. Thank you, Lord, now for it. Thank you for the fish that I'm going to catch. So then when the fish come, it's not a shock to your system. And in fact, you're like, thank you, Lord. Finally, yes, we got it. Let's go on to the next. Right? Your mind's already there. You already are a master fisherman. Life finally catches up with your belief. It's stability. It's not this roller coaster. And the second thing is when we don't know what to do, just be still and sit at his feet and listen. But don't let the enemy steal your blessing. Peter was ready to run away from all that. Jesus told him, you're going to be a fisher of men. Like this is just, this is just the beginning.